I was younger, um, there was this kid named Connor, and whenever, he, he'd always bully me in fourth grade, uh, and he kind of infected me. It breaks my heart. It's something that just shouldn't happen in this country. And we've got to dispel this myth that bullying is just a normal rite of passage, that it's some inevitable part of growing up. It's not. And when you're teased or bullied, it can seem like somehow you brought it on yourself for being different or for not fitting in with everybody else. I used to get really bullied in school. I was just thinking the other day about some of the things that happened to me, and I remember one time I got thrown in the trash. Like on bullying? Yeah. Yeah, we were, I went to the pizzeria around the corner, and you know, it was meant to be a joke, right? But these guys, that my, some of my friends were friends with, were also friends with these other girls who didn't really like me very much. So the guys were like, let me put you in the trash where you belong. So they picked me up in my school skirt and they put me in the trash. And I remember I was looking up at them and I was trying to laugh, you know? Like, <sighs> you know? To act like it didn't bother me because I didn't want to show a sign of weakness when really I was holding back the tears so hard because I was so embarrassed that I was in the trash can. Always a good strategy because if you're being, if it's something that's hurting you and it's bothering you and you are per facing it in a kind of persistent pattern, it's not good. So that that isn't going to help you. It only that strategy may only work if if it works. Mm -hmm. um, I think the another strategy is to say, knock it off, man. I'm, you know, I, I don't like what you're doing, and I don't appreciate it, and it, you know, please don't. That's unbelievable. Excusable if an official did not see this. What is that about? That is that is the low of lows of sportsmanship. Be a hero. Stand up for someone who needs your help. Don't let bullying take another kid's life. There are many people standing with you. I stand with you. I'm Kobe Bryant, and I want you to be kind to one another. Let's take a peek. Oh, that's disgraceful. That's not only ejection, that's going to be a suspension and should be. What a disgrace. Chance to see the replays afterwards. Mm -hmm. what, what did you see? Um, 
Man, I just saw, I saw what you guys saw. It's, it's, so, you can't, it's hard to get into a guy's head and know exactly what he, you know what happened in that situation. I haven't really spoken to him about it. Um, I'm sure you guys have or will. So you really gotta, you gotta ask him. Do you think you should be penalized? Man, aren't you guys sick and tired of talking about this shit? Did you guys talk about it all day yesterday? <laughs> it's gonna be around for a while. My right. God, I don't know. Ask him, man. Ain't nothing I can do about it. I stand with. Ain't nothing I can do about it. I stand with. Ain't nothing I can do about it. If you just sit back and watch somebody get bullied, I feel like that's just as bad as if you were to bully someone. Uh, if you saw an act of bullying take place, would you intervene? What would you do? Yeah, I would stop them. I'd defend whoever was being bullied. Experience uh, with, with that friend. Like many kids were uh, bidding him off. Like I kind of helped him out. I uh, shouted. Um, them to stop. If you saw bullying happening, would you interfere? Yeah, for me, I would definitely interfere because I believe that bullying affects the physical, emotional, and social well-being of a person. What I want to say is this. You are not alone. Bullying have to do with empowering others, people who aren't involved, mm -hmm. spectators, bystanders, people who have a capacity to see something that they know is wrong, and then have the willingness, the skill set, the desire, the responsibility to, to, to step in, even though they feel like it's, well, that's really not my encounter, and that's not really my story, and you know, I don't have the right to do that. We need more people who are just willing to say, that's not okay, not going to happen, not going to let that happen. I'm going to be calm, involved, as if it was my friend or my brother or my sister. The or other thing you whatever. need to know is things will get better. And more than that, with time, you're going to see that your differences are a source of pride and a source of strength. Like when I was in school, the, the whole reason I started writing songs was because I was alone a lot of the time. and. Uh, you know, I'd sit there in school and I'd be hearing people like, oh my god, this party we're going to is going to be so awesome on Friday. Everyone's invited except for her over there, you know, like, and I just wouldn't be invited to stuff and I would sit there and I'd be like, it's okay because I can write a song about this thing. You know, when you're a kid, I think you try so hard to fit in and when you get older, you realize that fitting in isn't really the thing that's more interesting. You know, being your own person and being an individual. Uh, I would not be here if I would have listened to the kids who told me I was a terrible singer and I was a sissy or, you know, other things that they would say to me. Um, you know, it's be different. As a nation, we're founded on the belief that all of us are equal and each of us deserves the freedom to pursue our own version of happiness, to make the most of our talents, to speak our minds, to not fit in. 
most of all, to be true to ourselves. I just want to say to you That's the freedom that enriches all of us. That I am living proof that if anyone's ever put you in a fucking trash can, you can always get the fuck out. Just put your paws up. Because you were born this way, baby. My mama told me when I was young, we're all on superstars. She pulled my hair, put my lipstick on, in a glass of her boudoir. There's nothing wrong with loving who you are, she said, cause he made you perfect, babe. So hold your head up, girl, and you'll go far. 